guys this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator and I know that I've just recently put out an episode of this but one of my viewers his name is Snail Rancher was so very kind and nice enough to have gifted me a copy of this DLC for the Amazon River for this particular game and after looking at this this is almost an intimidating uh history because i mean look at the map it is huge there's all kinds of spots to start from and you can also use your boat to get around on here so i'm not even somewhat certain of where to go but i tell you guys there is some huge monster fish in this particular map we've got the alligator gar the arapaima the silver arowana uh, the rest of them, honestly, I don't, you know, some of them I don't know except Electric Eel and Oscars. I know those. Peacock Bass, the Piranha, believe it or not. Red Tail Catfish, we've already seen those guys. But, yeah, this is, this is, there's some big, big fish here. Uh, something called a, I think it's a Tambaqui is also another type of Piranha and the, um... Kuma Kuma? I think it's a really large catfish. I don't know for 100% certain. But there's a bunch of new species here. I mean, there are species here that we have not seen in this game at all. So this could get very interesting. Now, as far as where to start, I couldn't tell you. I mean, there's 13 pegs to start with. Plus, you can go on the boat. So... I guess there's, you know, let's start with one. Let's see what we, what we got going on here. Okay. Definitely looks like the jungle. <laughs> Definitely looks like the jungle. Okay. Let's see here. I've got on my inventory this one. I went ahead and grabbed a new lore that I haven't seen before. But apparently, it's good for alligator gar, arapaima, po. Payera. I don't know if that's one that's here or not, honestly. But we might try to do some float fishing, honestly, to start with, or some bottom fishing. I don't know if there's anything here that I've got that can go after any of these fish. We'll see here. We've got... Well, the uh, Papa goes for bread. I don't think that's a big fish, though. Uh, Oscars do. And those are here. The Tambiqui. Those are here as well. And they go for peas. So we could equip those and see what if that does anything. I might go ahead and do that. I think on this one I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get something different. Let's see. We got the Apapa, the Oscar. Same things. Uh, small. We got the Arapaima goes for that. Electric Eel goes for that. Peacock Bass, the Kuma Kuma, so I think we're going to go ahead and buy a few of those and equip them. And we've got our float rod. And I think for that we are going to see... First I'm going to check to see what goes for that. The Papyra, the Kuma Kuma, the Piranha, the Red Tailed Catfish, Alligator Gar... Looks like just about everything does. Now on this one, a silver arowana goes for that. The Oscar de Tambiqui. So, I didn't see anything that big over there. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this, I think. We'll equip a couple of them just to see. Well, i tell you what. Let's go ahead. I know we could go out on the boat here. But, let's see if there's any... It looks like there's a bunch of them there. And, those look like piranha, honestly. So I think that's what we're going to focus on is right there for now, guys. Because we've got a lot that we can do. Let's go ahead and set up the rod pod here. Well, apparently it can't be placed here. Let's see. Can't be placed here. Can't be placed here. Well, good God. Why can't it be placed there? Come on, man. Oh, shoot. You're killing me, people. Well, let's get on the boat. Oh, 
But we know there's some fish over here. So let's stop here. I guess we're going to have to do some float fishing to start off with. Because I really don't think we need to be trying anything too complicated at this point. Where are they now? Let's see. Okay, they're right in front of us. Well, that wasn't exactly the best cast. A little better. It's like I said, I'm a little intimidated by this particular... It's not very deep. Uh, and it looked like piranha, so I'm hoping that's what we're dealing with. Because if it is... The live bait should do pretty good, honestly, but it might be a little bit deep. May need to bring it up a little bit. I don't know yet. Because it's literally resting on the bottom. Alright, let's go ahead and pull that back out here. Let's shorten our float lying length throw it back out there. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah, you can see the bottom and everything around there pretty darn good. I'm not seeing any other fish though. Well guys, I think I might know our problem here. I think the problem might be hook is too big. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, good God, no wonder. Let's try a 2 aught. And what did piranha go for? Because it looked a lot, a lot like a piranha. I saw, I mean, I saw him swimming around. Let's see. Piranha. There's another one that was, let's see. Let's just go ahead and take that off and we'll buy that and equip both of them that way that'll cover it because there's another one that looks an awful lot like a piranha but it's in the same family but it isn't a piranha all right we have got it for piranha we've got grasshoppers for arowana let's just see what we can do as far as this goes Now, supposedly they're right out here. I, it looked to me like they were right on the surface, though. I don't know if I've got that down far enough or not. I need to find a place where I can set up my rod pod, too. But we're going to start off here just to see just kind of species we're dealing with. Now... This is all new for me, <laughs> so <laughs> you have to forgive me. I haven't gone to the Amazon and ever fished in my entire life, so I don't know how these fish are going to react, if they're going to be finicky. I was hoping since I changed the hook size that might increase my odds of getting them. Yeah, let me look. I'm going to go ahead and pull this in. Let me look at the baits we have here. I need to find something that is kind of a universal bait, so to speak. Uh, so far I'm not finding it. I thought since I had mixed those together that it might help the, you know, the... Well, I'll tell you what, let's look at the Fishpedia or whatever. Let's see, the Tambiqui, it's in a family of piranids. Largest representative of the species. It's also known as a Paku. Okay, they're going to go for fruit. So, zooplankton, insects, snails, and plants. I bet you anything that's what it is. Bet you anything. 
No luring methods, which means float fishing and bottom fishing are going to be best. The tiger sorbium, that's a catfish. And it looks like it goes for artificial crabs, shrimps. It's a predator. Red tail catfish, crustaceans, fruit, and seeds. It does go for some lures. Okay. Piranha. We know kind of that that's a meat eating fish. It doesn't look like it shows anything as far as live bait. So maybe we need to go with lure fishing on this. Maybe we do. Hmm. Alright. Well, then let's see what we got here. Here's this one. Let's look at spoons. Let's see if there's spoons that go for them. We got peacock bass to go for them. It looks like piranha. Now. Peacock bass. Yeah, these don't look like peacock bass. These look like something completely different. Alright, let's look at the spinners. It's not looking like anything there is what we're after here. Hard lures, maybe. Well, I'm not having any luck here, guys. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go back to the map. So we started off at 1. Let's check out and see what's going on at 2 here. Oh, we're on a boat, so we can't go. Well, we can go ahead and keep going here. Run into the, ooh, we did run into the rock. Boat is hard as hell to control. <coughs> well, it looks like I got it on the shore here anyway. Okay, we have some big fish here, guys. That looks like one of those Arapaima, maybe. That could change everything here, guys. Let's go ahead and see what we can do as far as the float fishing. What? Well, it looks like I don't have anything on there at all. Let's see here. Let's increase our hook size a little bit. Let's take it to a 4 aught. Let's put... I thought I had bait on it already. What? Now this could be an arowana or an arapaima. I don't know for certain. So we're going to put both of these on here just to cover our bases here. There's a couple of them out there actually. Let's see if we can not get one of them to get the you know get their attention or whatever like I said I don't know which one they are Let's sit here be patient yeah something tells me this is not going to be the easiest Uh, particular fishery to deal with.
usually we get some kind of signal that whether or not the hook size is too big or too small so far we're not I don't know if that's good or bad there we go ooh that's an alligator gar holy crap Oh right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I want to bring this fella in. This fella I want to bring in. Whoa, okay, whoa, whoa. We don't want to have him snap the hook. He doesn't have a whole lot of place to go. So that is helpful. I think we got him though guys we've got him we've got him we have him big time alligator gar other than this uh, you know really other than fishing planet that's the only other game that I've seen these guys on there we go <laughs> he's not huge but I am so I am so ecstatic to be able to catch him because these are cool looking fish well, we'll go ahead and sell him apparently that's what these others are out here so let's see if we can't get another one here guys Alligator Gar, very ravenous. There he is. He's down there. He, that one didn't seem all that interested, but. Let's give him a few minutes, see if he changes his mind. There we go. Boom! Yep, we got us another one. Yeah, most of these are not too big, which is really good, because that means we can fight them a little bit, have a little bit of fun, <laughs> and still get them in. Come on, big guy. I think he's bigger than the last one. Yeah, these guys are serious predators. But we have him. There we go. Now he's not as big as the last one. Just a little bit smaller. We'll sell him as well. I'm thinking that's about all we got out here though, guys. Yeah, there's a few of those piranha types out there. There's another one out there. Let's try throwing this out here. See if that doesn't attract anything if we don't get anything here why I think we might move downstream a little bit see if we can't find something else we may be too far upstream to find anything other than the uh, alligator gar though see a prana over there it's not really showing any interest though hmm that's the thing though that could be a Paku just as easily and the Paku look a lot like piranha they're just a lot bigger okay something is boom all right there we go it's another alligator gar Mm. So we have really been rocking the alligator gar here, guys. Oh, shoot. Whew. 
Well, these guys are a lot of fun. I mean, they're a lot of fun <coughs> fishing. They're a lot of fun in fishing planet as well. Whoa. Got to be careful. I don't want him to snap the line. This line should handle him with no problem at all, though. There we go. Not, he is not quite as big as the last one yet. But still, not a bad little fish. Not a bad little fish. Alright, I think that's all we're going to be able to deal with here, guys. We're going to need to move on. Honestly. Not trying to be rude, but I think we're going to need to get off the boat here. Let's see if we can do that. Don't think we can here at the moment. Getting to some fish over here. Not a lot of them, but a few. Let's see here. Okay, I think that might be an eel, guys. Now, what did the eel go for? Honestly, not what I have on here, that's for sure. Hmm. Not seeing anything that they do go for here. Let's see. Eel... Eel, no, eel, eel. Lots of the alligator gar, they go for everything. Um, so, something tells me they only go for... Live bait. Oscar... Not seeing. Okay, the eel do go for leeches. So let's go back to four. Let's try an eel here. Since that's what seems to be swimming around here. Ah, heck. I don't know how deep they are. Doesn't look like they're too deep. Let's see here. Got a couple of leeches on there. I'm hoping that they go for it. I'm hoping the hook size is correct. Ooh, there we go. I think we have an interested party. Let's make sure he takes it. Yep, we got him. We got him. We got his little skinny butt. Awesome. So we have a completely different species here that we haven't seen before, and that's always good. There we go, electric eel. Seven bucks. <laughs> Not a whole lot, guys. Not a whole lot. Let's see here. Anything else? Any bigger? 
Well, we got a lot of these guys here. Apparently they're not worth a lot. Damn, they're not much more than a bait, honestly. There we go. Another interested party. We got him. Let's hope he's a little bit bigger than that last one. That last one was kind of puny. Okay, I think he might be a little bit bigger. He's actually taking it a little bit. Yeah, he's a lot bigger. New record. 1.71 pounds. $13. <laughs> not a lot, guys. Not a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, they're not worth a lot, apparently, the electric eels. That's too bad. It's really too bad. Well, we can look at our map here. We were over here. We moved over to here. Let's see if we can get this thing started again. Okay, we are getting a lot of stuff on the radar here. Let's see what we got, if anything. Looks like we got more electric eels. Yeah, these are pretty much electric eels here, guys. Honestly, we've seen those, so let's keep going. What we want to see is something a little different, if we can. Okay, let's check this out, see what we got here. I think it's more of the same. Wow. Okay, there's a few different species down there, but... Nothing big. I'm going to keep going. All right, we are on shore at this point. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead kind of take a look around go to the map let's go down to 11 see if there's something different here okay we have a little bit there's no boats here but this might be a spot that has something a little different guys I'm hoping Well, there's some fish out there, and there's some over there. Can't tell what they are, though, unfortunately. <coughs> okay, we've got a lot of big things over there. I don't know what they are. They might just be more electric eels. Let's see what they are.
think what we'll do is we'll see if we can't set a rod pod down here. God, you still can't set it? It's like you can't go in. Okay, there we go. That's a good thing. So that means we can now put out some of our bottom rods here. Now on this one, we've got a mix of different things. So maybe we go for different species. I don't know what is out there. Which is why I'm trying to mix things up a little bit. Let's see if we can't get a little bit of a... Okay, there's some out there. I don't know what they are. But let's see here. I've got leeches on this right now. It doesn't mean that that's... So we got Kuma Kuma, they'll go for it. Catfish, Tiger Sor Sorobin, Electric Eels. I don't know, honestly. Oscars, Peacock Bass, Tembaqui. Alright, let's let's unequip that but equip this. And we'll equip that. Let's just mix it up a little bit. We don't really know what we've got out there, honestly, so that's the thing. So we'll throw that out right where these guys are. And we'll see if anything gets interested in any of that. There's a mix of different... <laughs> we got Grasshopper, we got Leech, and Dragonflies. Something has to be interested in that. Plus we got the bottom rods. But anyway guys, this DLC is fairly new. There hasn't been many videos done on it, so we are basically flying by the seat of our pants trying to figure out what, you know, you basically you need to do. Sounds like we've got, yeah, something. I'm not sure here, but guys, but I think... Yep, we are. We are. I didn't hear a jingle, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's see here. Yep, we do have something on here. I didn't hear a jingle or anything. I, I don't know if maybe I've got the bell off of this or what. <coughs> I don't know if I've got the bell off of this or what, but some, for some reason or another, it didn't make a sound. We definitely have something on here, and I think it's a new species that we haven't seen before. I hope it is, because I like seeing new things. Damn, he really took it out of ways. Alright, we're getting close now. What have we got? Another alligator gar! Damn. We have been rocking the alligator gar, I tell you. Now let's 
see here. We've got small cut bait on that. There's an assortment of things that will go for that. I'm going to toss this one right out here. In the middle of where all those fish are, you see. I don't know what kind of species we're dealing with there. But... Again, I'm going to toss this one out there. The same location. I was hoping we would get something a little different just to mix things up a little bit, honestly. But even without the jingling bell, you can tell when you've got something on your bottom rods. Holy crap, look at that. Look at that, guys. I think this is an arowana. Honest to God, I believe it's an arowana. Yes, I was hoping to get one of these guys. He's not huge, and they can get really big, like hundreds of pounds. Silver arowana. He is a funky looking fish. He isn't worth much, but that is what they look like, though. They can get hundreds of pounds, guys. This is only a baby. Awesome. We'll sell him. I have no idea where the big guys are, but there are a few small ones out there. Yeah, we're getting a little close to being at the end of this episode because we're starting to run out of time, but having a really good time there's so much here to do oh my god like I said 13 different pegs plus you can use boats little tricky on the boats but you can use them <laughs> and there's so many species here that we've never seen before All right, guys, it's getting a little bit long here. We need to take a break here. But I think this is probably enough to make our first episode point. Anyway, guys, we were ma we did manage to catch a, a few of the species. We got the alligator gar. We got the, uh, the uh, arowana and the electric eel so that's not too bad we still haven't got a piranha but that's kind of my goal for the next one but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and i'll be back with another episode i think we're going to focus on the amazon in the next episode as well see if we can get some more of the species that are represented here i would like to get an arapaima an apapa and definitely a piranha but you know, <clears throat> until then guys as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun and I will see you later bye bye